guys, you probably recognize me if you watched last video. I'm still in the same clothes because it's the same day, but we are picking right up where we left off last video, and that is we are going to be installing a full set of sway bars on the G35. Let me show you real quick. So we actually ordered this back in February. These are the Hotchkiss Sports Suspension Sway Bar Set. It's got the front bar and the rear bar, and it's also got new polyurethane um, bushings, and I also went ahead and ordered some new end links because it's not a bad idea to get some new end links and uh, I thought mine were busted but we'll see but anyways we got brand new links new sway bar set that ran around 400 and some change this ran around 200 bucks and some change overall all in all with taxes shipping and everything to California it was around 806 dollars kind of pricey so hopefully it's worth it. if you're new to the channel also by the way welcome aboard to the channel all I do is modify my G35 if you want to follow me be this thing oh, that's my IG we're almost at 20,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much I appreciate every single one of y'all anyways we we got the car out here super super dirty i brought it out here because we're gonna go ahead and shoot the thumbnail uh, in last video if you haven't checked it out we went ahead and installed my new z1 motor mounts for my g35 oh my god dude the best modification i have done to this car the work though it was harder than i thought especially just looking at it so i also ordered a new addition we got the new honey the honeycomb vents we got the honeycomb mirror caps and we got the honeycomb uh trunk and we just ordered one more honeycomb item that will be coming i don't know what time is going to be coming but it's going to be coming go ahead and open this package oh man these look awesome all right guys so here's the set you got both sway bars you got the urethane bushings, the brand new ones, plus two packs of grease. All right, guys, so we're gonna get under the car so we can show you guys. By no means is this a tutorial. This is just me learning. So here's the bar we're replacing. We're replacing the skinny one first, this black one. This is connected to the end link right there. It's on the side. So it's pretty much unbolting that bolt, the top one. Now they said we wanna make sure what, what way is facing. So this is also why I'm recording so we can see exactly how it's faced. Now I was researching videos and it says like, you're gonna wanna bolt it up. I was watching, what's it called, Dona Media? He was installing on his Miata, but I think the concept is still the same. Right now we're in the air, the car's in the air. So once the car sits down on its actual weight, the sway bar is gonna act different. It's gonna be under a different pressure load and stuff like that. I feel like that didn't make sense. So let me try to explain this. Basically, you're putting the end link in the hole, okay? This is gonna be super, don't take it the wrong way, but there's an end link in the hole. Say you put it in the hole, right? And you tighten everything up, you freaking lower the car and now the sway bar changes and now it's like pushing the tire, the end link up. And now there's pressure and it, it's messing with it, right? Or it's badly adjusted and it can go down either way it's not adjusted right so what you want to do is, is say the sway bar is here and the end links here you want to let it sit on its natural weight and then see how the sway bar reacts and where, where the end link connects and then you can go ahead and put it in the hole that way it's structured correctly and it's not you know gonna act different different on you and other things it comes with instructions because we are going to need these so we're gonna go ahead and take off the plastic tray once we take off the plastic tray we can go ahead and use a 14 millimeter start removing some of the end link bolts All right, guys, so after an hour, we finally took off the bolt to this sucker right here. That was literally the hardest thing ever, just because there's no room. I don't even know how I'm gonna take the top one off, to be honest. Finally able to take off that one right there, but it actually ended up stripping on me, which is completely fine because we have uh, new bolts for it and everything, or we could just buy one, but I'm pretty sure there's one over there. Uh, but it's handy to have these uh, stripped bolt removers. After hours, we finally took it off. Voice is kind of sounding drained. That's cause holy crap, man, dude. I'm already taking a beating with I'm Gonna go ahead. Put it right here. There you go. This strip bolt remover does wonders, bro. So we have both end links. We're gonna go ahead and wanna match the heights of these. It's like it's like a joystick. Look at this one. Look at the white line one. No play whatsoever. Also for the G35s, if you don't know which uh, end links are for what side, like you can see it's a lot bigger. So this one's for the front, and the skinnier one's for the back. All right, try start around 10. I think, let's check what time it is. It's 112. Hmm. Damn. Anyways, uh, we finished the back. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna go ahead and go under the car. Oh. Brand new end links along with the sway bar. 
brand new bushings right there here's the other end link. so i just installed the back ones actually i made the biggest mistake of my life right now now that i'm just noticing this right here you can see that we're on the stiffest setting now here we're on the loosest setting you know what if I didn't record all of this, I swear to God, I would have made a lot more mistakes. You know, recording actually makes you realize a lot of mistakes that you do. Just go, it's basically double checking your work. All right, guys, so I'm tackling the front of the car, right? The front, the front sway bars now. Remember, I told you guys I've been hearing a squeak from the front, from like the driver's side. I've been hearing a squeak. I, I didn't even touch it, just so I want to show you guys how it was. Let me show you guys. So here we have the lower control arm, and then we have the the end link right there that connects to the, the sway bar. Look how loose it is. I kid you not, I did not. Look, look, check this out. This is the scary part. Look at this. I can take off the bolt with my hand. Never in your life should you be able to take out a nuts with your freaking with your freaking hand like that. There. Alright guys, it's 4 o'clock, oh my god. I could have finished a lot sooner, but uh, let me show you what was taking me so long. So here we got the new sway bars, it's on. Everything, it went smoothly, the bushings, everything. It's just with the end links that I was having the problem because there's this locking nut, right? And whenever you twist this, there's like something behind it that twists with it. So it was just twisting and it wasn't, you know, tightening up. And I'm trying to, I put like a wrench back here so that it can try to hold that thing that was spinning and then try to tighten it here, but it wouldn't fit. And I was taking three hours, bro. You can actually fit an Allen wrench here in the middle and then just tying it with a freaking wrench at the same time and it tightens up literally took me two minutes to do that oh my god if i would have known that it would have been so much easier for the back and the front honestly though i'm gonna shower i'm gonna eat because i haven't ate since 8 a.m a little bit exhausted i gotta get my head right right now all right guys, it's been a couple of days later. Man, that laundry machine's hella loud. Hold on, let me get over here. So it's been a couple, if this side of my mouth is kind of weird, it's cause I just went to the dentist and they numbed it. So it's kind of like, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I've been driving this now for a couple of days and on the turns, it feels a lot more. There's this little turn uh, going to my work that is really like a turn. It's a 25 mile per hour turn, but I'm going at it at 60. Before the car felt a little unstable. Like it, it like, you know, like you feel like it's about to tip over so i usually slow down to about like 45 50 it's still going fast but i slow around like 45 50 but now i went 60 bro and i almost went 65 like the car feels a lot more stable planted and you just feel more comfortable taking that turn and it doesn't feel as scary so that's definitely the biggest difference that i felt thing is 99 0.999% of the roads here in Sacramento. There's a straighter way, straighter way, straight. There's one street right here behind Target that is kind of curvy. I want to go ahead and film. A couple tries, we're going to keep going back and forth and then show you guys uh, kind of how it feels. I don't know. That feels good. It feels like a 
This is fun, bro. I wish I had more curvy roads around here. 